The Art and Craft Exhibition, organized by the Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union, has attracted creative industry players from all East African countries to showcase cultured art pieces. This exhibition has also attracted other exhibitors from other places. Here we have the Kenyans, we have the Tanzanians, we have the Rwandese, we also have people from Senegal, and these are small income earners who also do arts and crafts. So it's very important that we formal organizations should support informal sector so that they'll be able to rise up to the occasion. Otherwise, minus our support, they may not do much. Exhibited art pieces are testimony to the endowed unique raw materials to the East African nations. These enables innovative minds to earn a living. Clearly, I know about leather. That is why I decided to do leather work and bead work. Live in Africa, you can see cheetah, lion, buffalo, elephant, and a rhino. And then you can say these are the animals. If you show to a Muzungu, said, Oh, this is big five, they be happy, and then they use a lot of energy because you need to first to get the timber and you shape it the way you want. You can shape it by in a the oval, oval or cycle or triangle or rectangle and then you use a lot of energy. That's why you can do this one in like two days. Creative industry being informal receive little recognition from existing trade unions. This compels stakeholders to form associations for belonging purpose. And informal sector workers are workers who are not catered for by any other organization. The government takes care of everybody but for these people in particular who are doing arts and crafts, they are taking care of themselves. They Despite regional trade agreements signed by member states, several barriers are still hindering movement of small and medium-sized enterprises. We get challenging from the custom, simply because we as a East Africa, we have the way whereby we come with the, we, from the, our government, we got the letter from our SME from the our SME from the Kenya, and then we come the, we come that letter from the border. But sometimes the people that custom they don't recognize the the letter. Can't take your products there without following the standards. So what we are going to do is to liaise with the counterparts who are very well versed with these international standards, where these exhibitions items can be taken. Improper methods of bankrolling creative industry is limiting mechanization to produce competitive products. That value addition is what we are trying now to promote. Because if we help these people to add value to what they are producing now, it will be able to create more jobs, we will be able to be fighting poverty, we will be able to stand and ensure that these workers come together and promote things that are working. In Uganda, leaders in this sector are optimistic of the different government wealth creation programs to cover their interests of finance upscaling. Marion Awori and Abdul Nasir Lubwama for UBC.